I created a iPhone app with Xcode, Objective-C. It has two tabs, one here, one here, and mine is uh, based on, it shows a list of exercises. So it has two tabs. It also has a detail view. When you click on an item in the table view, it shows the item name and the item type. I put a static image here too. And then you can click here to go back to the table view, exercises tab. The raw XML is loaded in the second tab. This is XML and I'm loading my XML file from Dropbox, which is here. It shows what the XML looks like that is building this table view list. Three nib files. The first view controller, which is right here, my table view, which is right here on the left. What I did here is I hooked up my table um, table view list right here in my code. I have data source and delegate hooked up here. Uh, my second view controller is the second tab right here which pulls in the raw XML. I actually used a web view instead of a text view um, to show it and I put a button in here to stop the web view from loading in case, you know, just in case it takes too long to load. My detail view controller is when I'm on the list of exercises I click on an item this is my detail view controller right here and as you can see here I got a label and a static image what I would like to do better in this is a static image. I would like it to change based on the type. So the type right here is legs. I would like to have an image that highlights the legs. And then say for this one it's shoulders. Have an image that highlights the shoulders. I have the app delegate set up with a navigation controller, the tab bar controller, my first view controller. I set up my NS URL, the request, my outlet for the table view here. Here's the um, implementation file for the first view controller. I start with uh, clearing out all my data to make sure I'm not duplicating it and just adding to it. So I have cleared out data and I call in the XML file which is right here on a web server. Call that in. Um, if it's called correctly, you know, basically build the table. And I also am writing to a file which is right here. If the document directory exists, and this is for when I'm dealing with um, the iPhone simulator, I have a file uh, locally saved for this. Uh, the next one is second view controller which shows um, my raw XML in a web view. I have that all set up here. And this action is for the button to stop it from loading. And this one's a pretty short file here. It's um, all my stuff is in view did load. My detail view controller right here, oh, I'm passing in the name and type from my XML file which I explain in here. My exercise item, what I do here is this is what I'm using because my XML file has a name and a type in it, an exercise name and exercise type. And I define that in here. And that's all I could show. I answered all the questions. I created custom app icons in the display for when it loads the launch image and I created those using an online tutorial for Adobe Illustrator and that is all I have to share this week.